Do you want to do larger jigsaw puzzles but don't have enough room? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Stay tuned. Okay. Welcome back to Puzzled Puzzler. My name is Steve. I want to talk about the issue of larger jigsaw puzzles when you may not have enough room. Okay, so the issue that we're having is we have a 3,000 piece puzzle that we're working on here and the dimensions are 32 inches by 45 inches or for some of you that like the centimeters, 28 centimeters by 115 centimeters. So I've done 2,000 piece puzzles, 1,000 piece puzzles and they've all fit on the tables and boards that I've used but this time this won't fit on my uh, extra table that I use. I have a long card table and I also have a dry erase board you see back there. It's good for a thousand piece puzzles but doing the measurements I see that this only fits on the kitchen table. So but the uh, problem is it covers almost two-thirds of the kitchen table just in this size alone that would include any extra pieces on the outside of the borders as, as we're working on them. So it would essentially cover up most of the table. We want to see uh, what we can do to fix that. So this is the dry erase board that we've been using for the last few puzzles and underneath it we also have a cork board that's about the same size that we've used and they're roughly the same size it looks like maybe a inch or two off but if we look at the tape measure about 22 and a quarter this way in the width and in the length or however you want to say that it's a little it's right at 34 inches so that fits perfectly for a some of these thousand piece puzzles. What does this one come out to? Like this one's 27 by 20 inches. So that fits within that dry erase board just fine. I also have this extra folding table that I've been using sometimes. I've used a 2000 piece puzzle on this. But let's see our dimensions here. This one is, looks like, right at about 29 to 30 inches and you got that curve that tapers off so can't put much there long ways of course it's a it's a long table so you don't have any issues going that way but with our 3000 piece puzzle that we have now 32 inches this isn't going to cover it so let's see let's go to the kitchen table all right, so here is our kitchen table. It's a good size long table here. It's a little beat up, but it works good for what we need it for. And you see this one, we've got almost 42 inches probably, and then however long we need. So 42 inches, that's 10 inches over what we need for our puzzle here at 32 inches. So in the 45, we can go on forever. So let me outline this and see how much room this is actually going to take up on my kitchen table. Okay, so you can see here, even if I take up just one side of the table, it pretty much doesn't leave us much room over here to uh, do our normal stuff like eat dinner. There are five of us. We've got me, the wife, three kids, and one of them is a baby that has that monstrous uh, seat that even takes up more room. I want to do this puzzle really bad, but I don't want to take up the whole, uh, the whole space for the family. So let's see if the boards that we got work. So over here, these are the boards that I purchased at Lowe's. These are the, they're two-sided. This is the chalkboard side. And this is the dry erase board side. Here, what's it say? Dry erase board, chalkboard. Uh, let's see. And this one, this piece by itself is 23 and 8 
23.85 inches by 35.85 inches. So not enough for a puzzle, but if I put two of them together, we should have plenty of space. So that's how they look like together. I don't know yet if I'll use the white side or the black side. Both of them seem to give me plenty of glare for uh, doing this puzzle, so I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. That was uh, one of my worries, since I'd like to take pictures and film these. He said each of these boards only cost me between six and seven bucks a piece, so I'm not out a lot. It just doesn't work that great. Let's see if we have the. 45 inches that we're looking for here. We have just at 40, looks like just under 48 inches on this side. So that'll give us, keep us within the 45 inch limit. And this one is just right at 36 inches. So that should get us within the 32 range that we're looking for. Because remember the puzzle is 32 inches by 45 inches. It's not one big board, but if I did get this big board, like I said, it'd be hard to fit through any door frames and hard to put on other surfaces that I needed. So hopefully when I'm doing the puzzle, it won't be that big of an issue to keep the puzzle apart in the middle till the very end. And then hopefully when I'm done, I can just pick this one up and carry it wherever I need it to go. And it's not very heavy. It's pretty lightweight. Here we can see roughly about the size uh, that it's going to take up on these two boards that we have. Um, I will still have to probably use this table. I might be able to use my uh, black foldable table from time to time. The only thing I'm worried about is that as these hang off the sides of a smaller table like that, I'm afraid that they might start to warp. So. I'll prefer to do it here. I'm sure I can easily take these and move these onto a floor somewhere. And that's what we're going to do. And we're going to see how it works. Okay, so that was it for our uh, solution to our large 3,000 piece puzzle that is a little bit too large for the table to uh, accommodate the family also eating dinner. It's a little too large. It is definitely too large for my uh, foldable black table in there and it's too large for my little boards back there. So we're going to try these two dry erase chalkboards. Very lightweight, cheap, and uh, hopefully we can just pull them apart and move them whenever we need to. So stay tuned for the puzzle that we're going to do. Again, this is a, you see here, a magical mystery tour of 100 Beatles songs. Woohoo! Excited. So let me know what solutions you have for when you're doing larger puzzles. Obviously, a 3,000 piece puzzle is starting to get larger. Once you get into more than that, 4,000, 5,000 and above, I know some of you go crazy. I know some of you do them on the floor and you have several different panels that you use. Let me know what solutions that you've come up with. Uh, some of you have those puzzle tables uh, specifically designed just to do large puzzles. Uh, some of you use the mats. What is it that you're doing that you find that has helped you? All right, if you like the video, please go ahead and give us a like, comment, subscribe. You said I'd love to hear your comments about it. Love to hear your feedback. Go ahead and check us out uh, at puzzledpuzzler.com. Check out our other YouTube videos. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Pinterest. Say bye bye. Towards on the other, I went to Lowe's and uh, I contemplated buying a big, a big piece that would fit and I could maybe lift it up and, and carry it. But then I was like, well, one. I'm probably gonna